Hi, my name is Mitch Brown. I'm an enterprise architect here at Advisex. Today, I'd like to talk to you about your journey to business continuity and how HPE SimpliVity, HPE's flagship, all-flash, hyper-converged solution can help you transform your business. Let's get started. In our example today, we're going to consider an application deployed on a virtual machine in a VMware environment. When I deploy my application, my VM runs in my virtual environment, and what I have to do in order before I put it into production, so I have to make sure I can do backups of it. My process is involved using some backup software. I back up that application, and I'm good to go. But usually that's not the end of the story. Usually we have to implement some kind of disaster recovery or business continuity solution. So I go off to my disaster recovery site, and I build some infrastructure where I can replicate that virtual machine. Now this model I call business recovery. Unfortunately, it's not usually sufficient. What we find is that even when you're running in a DR, you still need to be able to do backups. Or if you have a disaster, perhaps there's some issue with recovering the last replica of the virtual machine that you have and you have to go back to backups. So what we end up having to do is create a clone or a copy of that backup infrastructure for DR purposes. And this part I'm gonna call operational recovery. Let's observe a couple of challenges that we have in this infrastructure. First of all, we have four copies of our data. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Plus all of the changes, the incrementals that go on in our operational recovery. We also have a whole bunch of management planes that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We have platform. We have backup. We have replication, and we have our backup targets. In order for this to be functional as a business continuity solution, we have to have a runbook. And when you think about all of the pieces you have to manage in here, that could be four inches thick. And after 30 years of working in this industry and developing solutions for customers, what I find is the biggest fall down is the process gap where processes change and you know, the IT process doesn't keep up with that. And so it makes it really difficult to manage recovery. Have you ever had the problem where you've had to test your disaster recovery and the run book was out of date? That's not a great situation for any of us to be in, but we find ourselves in that situation all too often. And that's where SimpliVity can really help. As I mentioned, HPE SimpliVity is a hyper-converged appliance. <clears throat> so like any hyperconverged solution is deployed on a server. In this case, HP's DL380, the best selling server in the world. Now, storage for our hyperconverged solution is on disks that sit in these servers that are in this cluster. We deploy the cluster in multiple nodes. So let's take this example. We might have maybe five or six nodes. Who knows how many you need to run your environment? Now, unlike other hyperconverged solutions, SimpliVity has an extra piece. And this is a hardware accelerator card. And the accelerator card does a number of things for us. It does deduplication and compression in line. It also has a battery protected NVRAM cache. So in essence, it's doing what the controllers in your traditional storage arrays would do for you, but we actually can scale it better because it is distributed. We have one in each node in the cluster. So as our cluster goes, grows, so does the performance of our array accelerators. <clears throat> so we deploy this as, I said, a cluster. So in VMware terms, typical VMware cluster. How about our disaster recovery site? It's exactly the same architecture. Maybe we don't need as many nodes in the DR site. We'll just draw a couple in here. Now, again, this is a cluster. And in SimpliVity terms, when we join these clusters together in the SimpliVity infrastructure, we call this a federation. All of the management of SimpliVity is done through the platform manager, in this case, vSphere. If you were deploying uh, SimpliVity with Hyper-V, it would be System Center, for example. But there's no interface that you have to deal with other 
than vSphere to manage a simpli SimpliVity environment. <clears throat> now, how do we get to business continuity with this model? What we do is we build a backup policy. Now, everything in SimpliVity automatically gets a backup policy. Every VM or data store can be tuned and tweaked to have its own backup policy. But let's take a simple one for an example. We're going to have our business recovery component of our backup policy. That's where we're implementing the, what effectively is replication. So here I might say, I'm going to have my VM, and it's sitting here in this cluster over here. And I need to back it up to the DR site. And I want to do that every 15 minutes. And I want to keep my copies around for four hours. So a short rotation, but this gives us this backup. 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, we, we make a backup, store it over here. And all the data that flows across here, we never re rehydrate it. It stays deduplicated. So what actually happens is this guy over here, when we take the backup, this side sends a list of the metadata across. And the remote side that is receiving the backup sends a list of the blocks that it doesn't yet have, and it requests those blocks. So the only thing that transfers is the blocks that aren't yet there. So this is different from an incremental backup, which tracks the blocks that were changed. This is just sending the blocks that weren't there. So for example, this virtual machine might have elements of the operating system that are already present here because of other VMs being in existence. It won't have to bring those blocks over either. Now the next part is our operational recovery. Perhaps here, we want to take a backup at midnight, but just like in our operational recovery picture back here, we need to be able to have both a local replica and a remote replica. So perhaps I'm going to say, I want to take that at midnight and store it here and keep it for 30 days. Local, 30 days. How about my remote? I can simply add that as another entity in the backup policy. So I'm going to back up at midnight and keep this one, let's say we're going to keep that for 60 days. Now what's really cool, and if we come in and do a demo for this, of this for you sometime, you would see that <clears throat> I can recover a backup in any location. So I could take a backup that's say 48 days old that's stored here, and with a single right click in vSphere, I can fill out a wizard, and it can restore a backup that resides here and bring it back over here. It's super simple. So let's take a quick look at the benefits and how they compare over here. One management plane. That's it. Not six, not five, not 20. One. We have two copies of our data. Not four. I have a copy at my local. I have a copy at my remote. Not four separate base copies. We have deduplication and compression everywhere. And by the way, on competing hyperconverged platforms, you have, have to pay a tax to do that because you're licensing your processors uh, on your hyperconverged platforms for the virtualization layer. Um, and to do deduplication and compression on all the other uh, competing platforms, you have to sacrifice some of your CPU and a bunch of your RAM in order to manage that. But because we have the accelerator card, you don't have to tax your CPU and RAM for that. Uh, fourth thing we have is WAN optimization. And that gets to this block transfer because everything inside the Federation is done already deduplicated and we don't rehydrate to do any of our operations. We minimize the network traffic required to do our disaster recovery. And that can save you a lot of operational money. And finally, our runbook. Goes from a four inch runbook to a sheet of paper that says right click here, fill out the form, click next, and you've recovered your infrastructure. Now that is a TCO argument. Thanks for watching and have a great day.